guys welcome back okay um, one thing that I forgot to, to talk about last time and I figured I better do before I get into the surround and the steps here is I wanted to put like a rock wall up on top of this so I'm gonna use this pea gravel to build that and that's gonna be kind of hard to build without a form so <clears throat> what I did is I, I just built a form here and all this is is some uh, scrap foam core. I folded some aluminum foil over it. I just cut four pieces um, and it sits around each side of the wall. These sit down on the floor here. I've got just got them pinned together and I put some supports here to hold this one and this one together. Surround everything with aluminum foil so when I, I'm gonna coat these rocks with glue uh, and dump them down in here to build the wall up and we don't want the glue sticking to the foam core so I put aluminum foil around here shiny side up and it, the glue won't stick to that very much. So this is the first time I've ever tried to do this so we will see how this works out. Uh, the first thing I'm going to need to do, well I took the, um, I rinsed the um, pea gravel off just to get the dust and stuff off of it and just laid it out on a paper towel and patted it dry uh, and stuck it in this cup. Uh, you don't don't want it too dusty or it'll make it harder for the glue to stick plus it kind of dulls the colors out and I'm trying to add a little color here. Um, so I am going to back you out a little bit and so what we're going to do here is just put a big old glob of glue in here and stir this in. Now you don't want this drenched in glue you just want all the stones kind of coated because what you don't want is a bunch of dried glue hanging around so uh, just put a little glue in there and you can add more if you need to I'm just going to use the back of a paintbrush to stir this up So that's all mixed up. Now what I'm going to try to do, we'll see if this works, is to just kind of push this stuff in here. So there's the general idea. I'm going to go ahead and pack this all in and then I'll come back. All right, so I just, just kind of piled them in there. I patted them down a little bit when I was putting them in to try, kind of straighten them out and tamp them down. Don't do it too hard because you don't want to blow out your form. Uh, and then I did, you know, just some kind of tapping to see if I could even it out and just try to get it as level as you can. Um, I didn't want actually want this wall quite as high as my uh, form. If you build your form to the height you want, you can actually just level it right there. I could have done that, but I wanted the wall a little bit lower, so uh, I just eyeballed it. And so I'm going to have to let that dry um, overnight. And like I said, I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to let it dry real, real good before I try to take the form off. And we'll see how it does. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do with the steps. very first thing is we need to mark where the edge is. So I'm just going to mark that. Okay. So I've got this marked here. I'm just going to take and, and lop this top part off. So that's, that's the first step. So we'll do that and be right back. Okay, so um, I let the, uh, the rock wall dry overnight, so it's really, really dry. And um, it actually worked out pretty good, the, the technique. I was able to pull back the, um, the form without too much trouble. I mean, there, there was a couple of spots where the glue stuck a little bit to the foil, but for the most part, this stuff just fell right off. 
Uh, I also had concerns about how sturdy this was going to be, but this, this is put together really, really well. This is um, much sturdier than I thought. See, it's, it's on there pretty good. Um, I do have a problem with this, though. If you look... pile of rocks. There's no mortar in it. So it's, um, it looks a little out of place. Um, so I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get some decent looking mortar in here and kind of fill this wall out. There's all kinds of, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's all kinds of holes in the rocks and stuff. I just need to fill this in with some mortar, I think. So, I'll do some thinking on that and see what I can come up with. Um, so, but, uh, you know, as a technique, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. That, that ended up doing well. Okay, guys, so I was thinking about the, uh, the issue here with missing the mortar and having all the holes. So, I figured uh, I'll make some mortar and put it in there. So, see, I've taped this off pretty well um, to try as much as I can to keep this off the walls. Basically I've made a really thick goop mixture. Um, uh, glue, water, plaster of Paris, and some gray paint. And I've made it really thick. I mean it's like a paste. Because I, I, you know, I don't need it to get too far in the crevices. I'm just going to kind of smush it in there and then I've got a wet paper towel and I'll wipe the top off the rock show through. So, we'll see how this works out. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to work out pretty good. So, I'm going to go around the whole thing and, and let it dry out and then we'll see how it looks. Well, I think that ended up looking pretty decent. Uh, it's not exactly what I had pictured in my mind, but it's, um, I think it's a nice effect. So, you know, it's, it wasn't too terribly difficult. Um, if you're playing along at home, there's something you need to be cognizant of. That is, when I was, a after this had uh, dried up with just the glue, um, I was, and I was putting the, um, goop back on here the moisture in the goop actually loosened the glue up and what happened was this this chunk came off and broke in half which is not a big deal because I can put it back on but then I also had some of the stone individual stones start loosening up and falling off so if you're gonna do that you just got when you're wiping the stuff off you just got to be kind of very careful and, and do it slowly and uh, be real deliberate because that that will loosen the glue up if you do it the way I did it. Uh, maybe there's a better way to do it, but so far I haven't figured out what that is. All right, so we're all set up to start uh, playing with the steps here. Now what I've done is um, just kind of guesstimated where the steps are going to be, how big they're going to be. It ended up being about a quarter inch down and uh, three eighths or so of an inch across. And what I did is I scribed it in the side. I don't know if you can even see that because I did it really light, but I kind of scribed it in the side just to make sure it looked reasonable. And then I'll cut them out. Now, these are not even going to be close to scale because um, if you did them at scale, it would it would look kind of weird. They'd be really really small. So you have to take. If you're doing this for wargaming, you have to take some license. If you're doing it for accuracy, these are too big. So just, you know, whatever looks good to you, but just know that um, the, the, what I'm doing is not, not to scale, not even close. So, uh, but I'm not worried about it. So I'm just going to carve these out. Um, and, of course, we're leaving the big... Uh, big area right here um, at the top the landing so uh, back this out a little bit and I'm just gonna carve these out 
and then I'll be back. Okay, so I got these cut out. Uh, basically, just you know, cut down, cut in, cut down, cut in. No big deal. Um, if you look at them, you'll notice they're not perfectly straight. That's okay. Um, it actually gives them a little character, and they're stone steps, so they're not going to be straight. So, and we're actually going to rough them up a little more than this anyway. So, um, again, this is one of those little cutting projects that uh, be really, really careful when you're using a knife because this your fingers are going to be pretty close to the knife blade, and I don't want any, you know, mothers or sisters or significant others or especially lawyers calling me saying, oh, Johnny chopped his finger off because you told him to use a knife. So, you know, pay attention to what you're doing, please. Um, so, here after this, what we're going to do is, again, because this is old stone, we are going to round off the corners with a little piece of sandpaper. Okay, so we got the edges rounded a little bit. I mean, not. I'm just taking the edge off. Okay, so nothing, you know, really significant. If some chunks come out while you're sanding, that's fine. It's stone. There's going to be some chunks. Um, something else to keep in mind, medieval architecture typically, especially if the house was fairly well built like this, or a more upscale one, these houses would actually be used by families for hundreds of years. So, I mean, you can imagine this set of stone steps could easily be three, four, five hundred years old. Um, so don't, don't, you know, be scared to rough it up and, and take some gouges out and, and really lay into it. Uh, another thing about old stone steps, if you go to like state capitals and stuff, or you know old stone steps, they'll kind of be divoted in the middle. If you look up at them, not a lot, but it, you know people going up and down the steps will eventually wear them away. So I'm going to take a few thin slices out of the middle here. That's not working out as good as I'd hoped because my knife isn't really too sharp and these are kind of small anyway so let's change the plan I'm just gonna kind of nick these up and cut them up like we did with the um, with the door surround give them some divots and some uh, cracks and stuff like that all right so this isn't quite as elaborate as the um, as the door surround but you can see there's a, a good bit of detail in there and you can keep in mind too that if we want to want to age this some more and make it uh, give it a little more character and we will once we get it all painted up and stuff we, we can flock it or put you know some a little bit of field grass tufts of grass growing out of some of the cracks stuff like that so this is going to end up looking really good when we get it done uh, I'm going to call it quits for today. Uh, thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.